Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to perform learning assignment 3 where we will read list item with SharePoint REST API using Postman tool. Perform this activity, I have given you 4 steps so that you have to follow. And what is that 4 steps? Let's look into that again. So guys, this is the 4 steps which we usually follow whenever we write the REST query. So now let's jump into the Postman tool and where we will perform all these 4 steps for our new assignment that is learning assignment 3. So guys we are into the postman tool and now we will create a new HTTP request and now we will perform step 1 where we need to specify the URL. So our URL is going to be the almost same that we have used in our earlier session and over here you will find that this is our site collection URL and then we have appended the API URL and again this time also we are going to perform our activities on items that is SharePoint list item. Now the second step. Second step we need to specify the headers. So we will go inside headers and over here we need to specify accept this key and over here the value is going to be application JSON and this time I am going to specify O data equal to verbose for this one also. Then we need to specify the content type. Select this content type and here again the value is going to be the same application json semicolon o data verbose now we have done with the step 2 now let's move to the step 3 so can you tell me that as this is a read request is it required to specify body over here so the answer is no because over here to read the item from the list we don't need to specify any kind of a body over here because this particular endpoint is not expecting any kind of a body while providing the information so step 3 can skip because it is not required in this case now let's go back to headers again and perform our step 4 where we need to specify the access token so to specify the access token we need to tell authorization and then we need to specify the value and the value is going to be the b error and then we will grab the access token so i will come over here I will send the request and over here you will get the access token. I will copy this one and paste it over here and then I will copy this value, copy it and then go back to our request and over here we will specify the access token, control V. So now we have done with all those four steps. Now let's press send button and let's look into that what is the response we are getting for this particular request and you will see that it returns 200 ok that means it is sending the data. So let's look into the output and over here you will find that we have created one item in this list. Let me expand this one and over here you will see that at the last you will find that the title which we have provided is max. And over here you will find many of the information which is being created automatically whenever we insert data inside the SharePoint like modified, created. So all these dates have been given that you already know about it. Then we have specified the value for email, batch, level of knowledge. So all these are things is returning in the response and that we will use wherever we want to use. And this is what I wanted to demonstrate to you in this session. See you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.